You are a very important person, especially in your life, because you are the person that creates your life. You are the person who changes your life. And as a mindset alchemist, this is what I enjoy helping people do, understanding the chemistry of creating in their lives so that you can fully understand how to tap into that beautiful magic of yourself, that magic of being you, using energy in extraordinary ways so that you can create a life you love living. And as part of this, I help you understand the energy of each week, of each month. And how it can possibly, potentially apply to you and your life. And this week is no exception. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Janine, a mindset alchemist. Well, this week of the 18th of October 2020 is a very interesting one. October has been about wounding. It's about being coming closer to yourself. It's been about tapping into that beautiful spirit that is working within you. And this week is just very much expanding on that. You are being asked to keep that delicious passion inside of you. Taking aligned action is very, very important. Don't let that passion die. Don't waste that energy. Look and see where am I being asked to take action on a project take action in a relationship and sometimes the best action is to sit and to meditate to, to be still and to be quiet oh something's burning my eyes what is burning my eyes here you are also being asked to not judge circumstances just as my eyes are burning where are you not seeing what it is you are asking to see where are you closing your eyes to what it is you are meant to see you cannot see a perspective with your eyes closed so Go up high, see the bigger picture and understand that new beginnings are flowing in. They've been flowing in the whole year, but this week they are, and this month they really are asking, your healing is done now in a deep way. Yes, you still have to heal. However, it's more important to see the wound, acknowledge it and step forward into your passion and purpose. You are being asked to look at which relationships are Stepping back for a time, it can be a relationship with a situation, a work, a colleague, it can be a relationship with a, a close person, and not necessarily that you're going to get up and leave them. It's just where's the time to step back and look at it from a different perspective and from a different point of view. Maybe you're not in alignment with them, maybe they're not in alignment with you, and by stepping back, you can see where the alignment is, or you can see where each person has to walk a slightly different path. And that is what you are being asked to look at. And that includes your relationship with yourself, not just with other people. Where are you out of balance in your relationship with yourself? And where are you being asked to say, hmm, maybe I should go to bed earlier. Maybe leaving milk out of my diet would be aligned maybe adding just one piece of cucumber into my life daily would make a difference that's the sort of energy that it is get curious as like last week get curious what they stress to me is relationship with yourself is very very important this week go and check in with what you're enjoying where you're feeling sad where you're feeling bad what you're feeling bad about what are you feeling great about focus on what you're feeling great about and release what you're feeling bad about because this is a week of accepting change creating with the change rather than fighting it and getting dragged along that's been the theme the whole year though you also are being asked to use your freedom of expression Remember, in order to have experience, you have to have experiences. And sometimes you have to express yourself in a way that others may not enjoy. So if you enjoy swimming in the sea, go and swim in the sea. Maybe you enjoy sitting at home building puzzles. Give yourself an hour to, or so to do that. Go and see where your freedom of expression to create, and I'm talking specifically now about creating as well as relationships and everything else, where is that freedom of expression asking to be released? Where are you being asked to up your emotional intelligence, to stop being triggered by other people's points of view? This is not a week to let people other people's points of view get in your way this is a week where you don't let your own point of view get in your way and that people is sometimes one of the hardest things you can do 
emotional intelligence is seeing something looking at it and saying that's okay how do I create with this what do I create through it it's such a creation 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 like-minded connections are going to be stepping forward and go and see where you are being like-minded with yourself speaking your truth as you understand it does not make it somebody else's truth speaking your truth this week is very important it's also very important to be as water flowing moving around finding the path of least resistance you do not wish to battle through something this week if you are battling through it put it down go another way because that is out of alignment with who you are and where you are going and the word perspective 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 just kept on coming up it just came up all the time the other thing is grounding just as the water flows and water itself can be grounding you are asked to connect with the earth go and see where are you meant to be procreating where are you meant to be um, in balance where are you being asked to be fertile and i'm not talking about babies here i'm talking about ideas and concepts um, just in case anybody's wondering where are past experiences getting in your way and where's the potential of past lives and your ancestors past lives getting in your way wherever it is you don't pay full attention to it you say oh that's interesting i release you this is very much a week of saying okay and i release you i see you i release you i don't have to dig into you i don't have to do anything with you except say Thank you for coming forward. You are no longer mine. And the phrase, I am my I am, and I choose to be my I am, really makes a huge difference. And what I will sometimes do is I'll say, hmm, is it just me around here or are there other uh, energies around? I wish to be alone. I am my I am, and I choose that it's just my energy because this is a week where people are going to be tapping into your energy and seeing where they can access what they can do and how they can do it uh -uh, you don't desire to have that in your life it is also are you ready you are it is also a week for respect respect of yourself respect of others it doesn't matter what their beliefs are it doesn't matter what their actions are and respect for the earth you're going to throw that paper down don't Put it in your bag throw it away when you get home you're going to chop that tree down go and ask it are you meant to be chopped down what am i meant to do you're clearing land are you meant to be clearing it um ask mother earth what she would like you to do to respect her for me i pick up papers when i walk around or i run and i share uh, source energy and love and forgiveness and i speak with mother earth you go and ask what it is you are being how you are being asked to express respect for yourself for others and for mother earth you also now this is was a very interesting one when it came forward you are being asked to respect infinite possibilities and that is opening yourself that just because you decide something should be this way doesn't make it so this is the week to say okay this is my idea what else can come forward Go for a walk, go for a run, get in a bath, sit and doodle, color in, go and bake a cake. And while you're enjoying the cake and tea or cake and coffee, allow the ideas to flow forward. They are ideas that you would never in your wildest dreams have thought of. And the phrase they gave me was respect for infinite possibilities. Open yourself to what source is offering you, what Mother Earth is offering you, and what your higher self is asking you to accept and to work with in your life. Remember, I am my I am. Release other people's energies. For myself, I, I will often just say, hmm, whoever's tapping into my energy, I release you. And wherever I have sent my energy, return. And I just feel myself coming back to myself. Because listen, if other people are tapping into your energy, you're tapping into theirs. So return, return, depart. They're beautiful switch words. So you say, whatever's not my energy, whatever's not mine, depart. What, wherever I have sent my energy, my, or wherever my ideas are asking to return, return. And you just close your eyes and you allow it to come back. Feel into it and then have a pen and paper ready because you may be being asked to journal on it. 
that's very important now I was quite intrigued when this came forward as well because you asked release your past be in the present grounded in the present aware of the present and keep envisioning your future now those of you who know me know I sometimes say I'm a dream whisperer because I help you get in touch with your dreams now the universe is helping you get in touch with your dreams see the picture of what it is you would like to have feel the feeling of having it ask what are the infinite possibilities of it and see how it morphs and changes keep that pen and that journal handy or keep it on your phone whichever is much more comfortable for you you are also being asked to see where and the phrase they gave me was starving yourself spiritually where are you not connecting with nature where are you forgetting to connect with nature where are you forgetting to connect with yourself where are you ignoring your higher self and your heart self because your heart self would like to guide you your heart self would like to help you cope with the change create with the change as your mind self and your gut your intuition and your emotional self would like to step forward and work with you remember emotions are energy in motion did you know emotions only last I think it's for six seconds after that you are choosing to loop them 19 seconds that's what they're saying to me 19 seconds emotions only last 19 seconds after that you are choosing to keep them isn't that an interesting point of view respect yourself enough to release the looping and move forward with more aligned action as it comes forward you have 19 seconds to feel it experience it sit with it and release it and replace it with a higher vibration those of you who know me know I work with the success spiral which is you move your from a lower energy through the different energies up to a higher one out sideways it doesn't matter you can spiral all sorts of ways and a spiral doesn't mean you're spiraling down into the ground you have enough respect for yourself that you know you can work wherever you're going because energy is not linear energy time I mean time is not linear time is circular and that is what you're doing when you work with that spiral when you work with that 19 seconds you work with that spiral to take yourself up towards greater and that's what this week is about you're being asked to work towards greater envision people envision pay attention to the dreams you dream at night pay attention to the daydreams you're having during the day because you are creating with them messages are being brought forward to you from them and you are being asked to just let your mind drift drift not to low vibrational energies on the spiral but to energies that are supportive loving joyful caring uh, compassionate and that's where you are being asked to allow your mind to drift to hmm I wonder what this means I wonder if I did it this way I what are the infinite possibilities of it happening another way if I spoke to this person would I feel aligned with speaking to them and just let it flow that way that is very very important you are being asked to connect very much with source with your higher self and with those around you you are being asked to being like an eagle you fly and you can see the fine detail as well as the bigger picture that is you're working with the energies coming forward from the east past present and future are currently colliding and I wasn't thinking when I wrote that and I thought yes of course it is this is the month where the veil between the different worlds is very thin so energy you feel much better you are much more sensitive to it and that is why you can create more this month you can put the framework in to create more you can choose to envision more you are looking at a country my hand right are colliding coinciding and presenting the past present and future are colliding coinciding and presenting to be acknowledged to be worked with you are asked to look at your memories bring forward the energy of those you enjoy release the rest have awareness of what people are doing saying and feeling around you and most importantly have awareness of your thoughts because 98 percent of your thoughts and feelings are not yours you're picking them up from other people or they're putting the energy into you the other thing is people that you haven't seen for a while may suddenly start appearing and it's to ask am I aligned to be with these people or is this a wound that is stepping forward that I'm asking I'm being asked to see and to release 
interesting that a person who was seen as a wound and that you asked to release them. You also are being asked very much to work far more with your intuition. And you're being asked to check in with your body and see where is your body speaking with you, to you, and getting trying to get through to you. And where is your spirit showing you to take aligned, immediate, or long-term action. Have an amazing day. Thank you. Please say hi when you listen. Let me know that you've heard this. Let me know what questions you have, and I'll come back and answer them. Just tag me, um, Janine Kathleen Shapiro. And if you would like to know more about how I help driven women work with magic and energy in extraordinary ways to create the lives they love living, reach out and let's chat. Bye-bye.